Hey guys, Tom with Breakless TV here, bringing you another multiverses guide. This one is going to be how to play faster in multiverses. I'm going to take your ordinary movement and turn it into movement. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go over is short hopping. So short hopping is when you tap the jump button basically as fast as you can. It's pretty lenient in this game. So for example, this is a full hop with Superman. You can see I'm holding down the jump the entire time. Is a short hop. Uh, sometimes I want to do this. I'm, I'm, you know, going up to an enemy I think is gonna attack me, and I don't want the full hop out of it. I want to stay close to him, but I want to do enough just to avoid his attack. The next thing is gonna be fast falls. So a fast fall is when you hold down in the air, and your character starts to accelerate quickly down. Be a regular jump. Oh, this is a fast fall. There's an option in the menu here. You go all the way down under controllers, all the way. Uh, fast fall method. Hold is recommend. I believe it is also default. Uh, I I prefer hold. So I come from Smash. Smash, it's a tap to fast fall. So that's what I was used to. But um, I find hold to be better simply because you can fast fall and stop and fast fall again. So situations where you're, you know, you're over here off the ledge, you can fast fall, jump, fast fall again, just kind of play with it a little bit and be more unpredictable as opposed to if you have tap on, you're, you're, I mean, you're fast falling all the way until you do something else. Uh, the other thing is sometimes you fast fall when you don't mean to and if it's on tap, I mean, you're you're going. If you don't have any jumps or dodges left, you're, you're going to the bottom. So, a uh, fun thing about fast falling is if you're holding down while you jump, even if you hold jump, you will always do a short hop. So if you're if you're looking just to get as much air as possible but return to the ground really quick, uh, I, I'm holding down the entire time. Hold diagonally forward, you'll still get that fast fall. Superman will still move exactly where you want him to go. The last thing I'm gonna explain is jump canceling. Uh, that's what I've been calling it. I I don't I haven't really seen a specific you know, verbiage that people have been using for this, but essentially, when you jump, you can cancel your upward momentum by inputting either an attack or a dodge. So, this is a regular short hop. This is jump can or attack canceled. This is me jump canceling with an attack. This is me jump canceling with a dodge. See how low to the ground I am? What's great about this is if you want to do an air attack, let's say I don't want to go into this whole big jab combo, you can just use your jump cancel to hit with your air attacks as low to the ground as possible. So now I'm going to show you what all three of these combined together looks like. I'll be holding down the whole time and make sure I'm getting my fastball. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump cancel with these punches. You see how quickly I can jump and return to the ground and immediately do whatever I want again? Uh, th this is great for combos, especially if you've seen uh, Harley combos use this a lot. Some some Arya combos use this too. But if you see a Twitter clip of people doing a lot of really fast air moves to the ground, like Bugs combos also, um, this, is, this is likely how they're doing it. So now, the next two things I'm going to cover are actually in an advanced tutorial. Uh, the first one is going to be dash jumps. This is simply where I'm going to dash forward. And a property of the dash is that you can cancel it with any other thing. You can jumps, attacks, special moves. So if you dash and jump, you can get this additional forward momentum. So I'm going to jump right at this orange line here to give you an idea. Without a dash jump, I make it about that far with a dash jump. Oh, that was bad. With a dash jump, I almost make it off the stage. Um, there's there's a it's a pretty small window, but it's it's not too bad. I would really suggest going into the advanced tutorial for this because it'll give you it'll tick up when you've done it correctly. Another thing that's in the advanced tutorials this is going to be your dash attack. This is where I'm simply going to cancel the dash with any different move I want to do. It doesn't matter. 
use your, you use your special moves, you use attacks. This is really great for closing that distance. Uh, I get a, I see a lot of people that have struggles, struggles with how to punish. So you have Shaggy here spamming this combo. Um, between the headbutt, which is where the combo ends in the first punch, there's a good amount of space, but not a ton. You can get in there even with Superman, a relatively slow character. But using the dash attack, really you're immediately on top of them. You can really start, get in there and start doing your combos. Even characters that have some smaller windows, like Finn. I see a lot of people struggle with uh, being able to punish his attacks. The dash attack is, is really your friend. So the last thing I'm going to touch on here is going to be wave dashing. Uh, for, for the record, I don't think that this is that important. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I don't use it all that often. Uh, it's also uh, harder than the everything else I've I've mentioned. is really easy to grasp. You get in the you get in the lab. You try it a couple times. You use my controller display. Really easy. This one could take you a little bit. So the idea is that you're gonna dodge diagonally down, but you want to hit the ground when you do it. When you do this. It, it acts, it almost acts like you're dodging forward. And you can do attacks out of this as well. The big advantage that I see to actually doing this is covering ground quickly. So, for example, if I'm playing Superman and I want to cover the whole stage, even if I'm using dodges, it takes me a little bit. But if I use some of the concepts that I've already gone over, um, so I'm going to use the wave dash, and then I'm going to dash jump, and I'm just going to do another wave dash. You can get across the stage really quickly. Um, it doesn't really come up that much, honestly. This is a cool thing to learn if you're interested in it. I would go for it, but if you can't do it, it's it's not going to stop you from playing really well. At least not until you're, you know, top 10 of a character, top 100 on the leaderboard. You're not really going to see people do this in games. It doesn't come up that much. So that's my guide on how to move faster. Um, just trying to incorporate all these things into your gameplay is really going to help a lot. When you see tournament players, they're doing these things constantly over and over and over again. Some closing thoughts on it is if this is your first time with any of these concepts, uh, take it really slow. Do them, just focus on one at a time. If you don't do you know these these jump cancels often just focus on that take it in the lab for five minutes and practice doing them once you get it down i would say go into games but when it's a new concept like this something you've never done before it's hard to do in a game when you have someone else who's not going to let you practice they want to beat you up so i like to say that five minutes in the lab with something like this is worth an hour of doing it online um, Another note of that is that once you got it comfortable in the lab, sometimes before I play, I'll, I'll just get in and just start practicing some stuff. Uh, you do have to take it on, online. Obviously, it's a lot easier when you do these things in the lab, and maybe once you get online, you're going to get flustered. You're going to be trying to hit your attacks. You might not think about them as much. But really, if you just take it slowly one thing at a time, you'll start picking these things up. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say is be careful about doing too much of this stuff when people learn oh look at all these really cool tools i can use to move really fast they're they're flying around they're they're doing all sorts of crazy cancels and stuff and they ruin their dodge gauge i'm moving around for for no reason here uh you know I, I'm, I'm finding a pony i'm over here i'm just i'm dodging i'm going nuts but if you notice my dodge gauge is completely empty when it's empty like this you don't have any invulnerability on your dodges uh, you're asking to get hit. It's it's a really easy thing to just blank out on. You're not paying attention. And then all of a sudden you're getting hit while you're dodging. And you're like, what the heck? What just happened to me? All right, guys. Well, I hope that video helped. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. You know, that helps channels quite a bit. And thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.